we shall learn variational principles. The variational principle is the most fundamental and beautiful principle in applied mathematics because from this principle we can determine Newton's equation of motion, Lagrange's equation of motion, Hamilton's equation of motion, Schrodinger's equation of motion, Einstein's field equation of gravitation, Hoyle Nerlikar equation of gravitation and so on and so forth by slightly modifying the integrand and many such more fundamental equations. And hence these principles are most useful in applied mathematics. Before learning these principles we shall define functional. A functional means a quantity functionals mean a quantity whose value are determined whose values are determined by one or several equations one or more equations or several equations several functions Functional means a quantity whose values are determined by one or more equation, more functions. This means domain of the functional is set of all admissible functions. For example, the length of the path L. We shall give an example of the functional. The length of the path L between two points is a function. of curves y equal to y of x which itself is a function of x such functions are called as functional For going to variational principle, we shall learn a basic lemma. We shall state that lemma first. Lemma states that if x1 and x2, here x2 is greater than x1, are fixed constants. and gx is a particular continuous function for x1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to x2 that means gx is a particular continuous function for 
all x lying between x1 and x2 that is a closed interval x1 x2 and if integration from x1 to x2 of gx eta x dx equal to 0 for every choice of continuous differential functions eta x such that eta at x1 equal to 0 equal to eta at x2 then gx equal to 0 identically in x1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to x2 that means for all x lying between the closed interval x1 x2 we shall prove this lemma by using method of contradiction for that purpose we shall assume that the lemma is not true suppose lemma is not true that means there is a gx such that gx is not zero for some point x dash of x therefore suppose that or let us assume that there is a particular value x dash of x in the interval such that gx not equal to 0 that means gx gx dash is not equal to 0 that means gx dash is either greater than 0 or less than 0 we shall first suppose that gx dash is greater than 0 as gx dash is greater than 0 see this is a point x1 this is a point x2 on this there is a point x dash in between x1 and x2 there is a point x dash since gx is a continuous function in the close interval x1 x2 in the close interval x1 x2 and in a particular and in particular it is a continuous at x equal to x dash it is continuous at x equal to x dash hence there must exist an interval surrounding x dash that is say 
एक्स वन डैश एंड एक्स टू डैश सच दैट एक्स वन डैश इज लेस दैन इक्वल टू एक्स डैश इज लेस दैन इक्वल टू एक्स टू डैश इन विच जी एक्स इज जीरो फॉर एवरी एक्स और एवरी वेयर इन द इंटर ऑफ एक्स वन डैश टू एक्स टू डैश नाउ लेटस सी वेदर इंटीग्रल x1 वन टू एक्स टू ऑफ जी एक्स ईटा एक्स डी एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर एवरी परमिशिबल चॉइस ऑफ ईटा एक्स नाउ वी शेल डिफाइन ईटा एक्स सच दैट ईटा एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर एक्स वन लेस दैन टू एक्स लेस दैन इक्वल टू एक्स वन डैश ईटा एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स माइनस एक्स वन डैश स्क्वेर इंटू एक्स माइनस एक्स टू डैश स्क्वेर फॉर एक्स वन डैश लेस दैन इक्वल टू एक्स लेस दैन इक्वल टू एक्स टू डैश एंड इट इज अगेन जीरो फॉर एक्स टू डैश लेस दैन इक्वल टू एक्स लेस दैन इक्वल टू एक्स टू नाउ फॉर दिस चॉइस ऑफ ईटा एक्स वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट eta at x1 equal to zero equal to eta at x2 eta at x1 dash equal to zero equal to eta at x2 dash and therefore the integral x1 to x2 of gx eta x dx can be written as इंटीग्रल एक्स वन टू एक्स वन डैश जी एक्स ईटा एक्स डी एक्स प्लस इंटीग्रल एक्स वन डैश टू एक्स टू डैश जी एक्स ईटा एक्स डी एक्स प्लस इंटीग्रल एक्स टू डैश टू एक्स टू जी एक्स eta x dx but as in the interval x1 to x1 dash eta x is zero this integral is zero in the interval x2 dash to x2 eta x equal to zero therefore this integral is zero and therefore this value becomes only integral x1 dash to x2 dash of gx eta x dx and in this interval eta x is defined as x minus x1 dash square x minus x2 dash square therefore this integral becomes integral x1 dash to x2 dash x minus x1 dash square x minus x2 dash square gx dx as we know that gx is greater than equal to 0 as gx is greater than 0 in x1 dash less than or equal to x less than or equal to x2 dash this is the right hand side of this integral 
is definitely positive. The integral is definitely positive. And therefore, we can conclude that integral from x1 to x2, gx, eta x, dx is greater than 0. This contradicts to the, our hypothesis that this contradicts to the hypothesis that integral x1 to x2 gx eta x dx equal to 0 and hence our assumption is wrong. Similarly, if you take gx is less than equal to 0, then we obtain similar contradiction. This contradiction arises because of our assumption our assumption gx not equal to 0. for x in x1 less than or equal to x is less than or equal to x2. And from this we can conclude that gx equal to 0 for all x in x1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to x2. This proves 